All right, number six, breakfast sandwiches are delicious, and it turns out the very first breakfast sandwich on record dates all the way back to 1897, a cookbook called for chopped meat and egg. It did not include cheese. Somewhere along the way, the meat changes to bacon, ham, or sausage, and the cheese was the bonus. According to Mental Floss, in the early 70s, Jack in the Box locations started staying open 24 hours a day, and they came up with the breakfast jack. It was ham, fried egg, and American cheese on a hamburger bun. And around the same time, a McDonald's operator came up with the Egg McMuffin. Mm. All right, number five, check out Villa Palladio, a whimsical little getaway on the outskirts of India. Uh, it's a nine-room boutique hotel with a pool house, veranda, and a garden, and it's all decorated in deep, rich shades of pink and cherry red. Oh. If you want to visit, you'll need a plane ticket to India, and the hotel will cost you $450 a night. Hmm. Okay, number four, it's never too early to think about summer and plunge pools are becoming increasingly popular. They're known as spools, heated plunge pools. They're smaller and cheaper than traditional in-ground pools and they can be used all year round, heated in the winter and cooled in the summer. They're versatile. So in you... Chicago? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reading what the prompter tells me to read. I'm okay. a meteorologist, yeah. okay? I don't know the research. Yeah. Uh, so you can put a small version in your yard if you don't have a lot of space. They're great if you live in the suburbs where these are allowed, but they're not allowed in the city. You'll have to stick with the old above ground pool. Huh, I didn't know underground pools were not allowed in the city. Under That's a rule? Ooh. In ground pools or just plunge pools? In ground pool. Uh. Well, I'm gonna have to get uh, Anne Marie Saviano on this. She seems to be uh, our city expert right. on pools. So. On the upside, kids can't play Marco Polo in a small pool. <laughs> I'm all for it. That's true. All right, number three, another new dating term. Have you heard about orbiting? Oh, jeez. It has to do with your ex. It's defined as being close enough to see each other, but far enough to never talk. In other words, these are exes who choose to stay in your orbit, but remain out of reach. The term would not exist without social media. So they're not calling you, they're not texting you, but all of a sudden they're watching their, your Instagram stories mm. or liking your Facebook posts and... It's called stalking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. No, they're just, you know, they're just, they didn't unfollow you, so they'll oh, still yeah. check in uh -huh. on your stuff. It, it feels cordial. Almost. Does it though? I don't know. Depends on the breakup. It depends yeah. on the breakup. Uh, <laughs> you're flattered, of course, if they're still interested in what you're doing, but chances out they're not. They're just playing mind games. Oh. If they wanted you back, they would call yes. you or send you a yes. message. They wouldn't just randomly see what you're yep. doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's up to you. Do what you will with that. <laughs> Great advice. All right, number two, sick of your car. You can try a fancy electric bike. The Rad Runner can reach speeds of up to what, or I'm sorry, up to 20 miles per hour with or without pedal assist. You have five levels to choose from, including not pedaling at all to doing most of the work by yourself. You can also ride it on all terrains from city streets to mountain treks. Plus, you can add cargo baskets to haul your stuff or a fun side saddle for your pets. It's around 2,400 bucks from Rad Power Bikes. All right, number one, here's a way to make cooking pasta more fun, the al dente pasta timer. Al Dente uses one of four classic Italian songs to let you know your dinner is ready. Uh, it'll beep after 30 seconds. If it's angel hair or thinner noodles, uh, you will wait three minutes until it's done and sing that tamore. If it's spaghetti, uh, you'll wait nine minutes and sing a different tune. You can pick up this little guy for under 25 bucks on Amazon. So it's just a timer. It's not testing the pasta, right? It's I just guess a so, timer. yeah. I think, it's like I think three you're minutes right. or nine minutes. But it goes in the pot. And it sings Italian ah, music. Yeah, you're right. It's you're right, Morgan. It's, it's whimsical. It's fun. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Yeah. You're not going to screw up pasta. A regular timer <laughs> doesn't make it fun. You haven't been to my house, Larry. <laughs> it's happened. Yeah. I've screwed it up. 